Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice, and today I would like to share my latest project with you, the fourth trim mod for my cyclic. I start the project by completely disassembling and cleaning the grease of the Verpal CM2 base. I am removing the rubber plugs, the spring bolts, and finally the messy springs. Next, I take off the four M4 bolts, which hold the top plate with the assembly onto the casing. I also remove the mounting bracket, which normally mounts the base to a desk mounting solution. And I can now access the assembly and disconnect the USB aviation ports and separate the case from the assembly. I'm paying close attention to the three connectors. I mark one of the two connectors with a sharpie. Both are removed, and when I later on put them back in there, there will be no mistakes. You should never pull the cables, instead use a small screwdriver to lift them out of the socket. I removed the bolt and bearing which is running below the cam, as these will no longer be needed for this project. I temporarily screwed into the joystick a bolt to make handling and moving the stick easier. I am also removing the shielding plate, which is likely or hopefully to be Mu Metal. Mu Metal is a magnetic shielding metal, often found in oscilloscopes and other equipment which needs magnetic shielding. Back in the shop and on with the project. I am using quarter inch thick T6061 aluminum plate for the base. It is 3.5 inches wide and 14 inch long. I am milling a recessed section into the plate to accommodate the Verpal CM2 deck with the joystick part. Well, that wasn't that complicated. I'm now threading the four holes to mount the assembly. A bit of sanding and a quick test fit all looks good. You may notice that the base gets installed the opposite way. I will invert the controls in software as needed. I had to make a small cutout for the hall sensor to pass through the base plate. I purchased guide rails with bearing blocks for this project.
The shortest ones I could get are still too long for the base plate, so I will have to cut them to size. The aluminum cuts like butter, but the steel rods need the cut-off wheel treatment. And back from the garage, I now mounted the guide rails with the steel rods into the vise on the mill. The solid carbon end mill has no problems with this material. My belt sander takes care of sharp edges for machining and keeps the first aid kit at bay. You can see here how I did the mounting holes for the rails. Disregard the center holes. I did them previously when I still had my mind on mag logs. I have abandoned this idea in favor of stepper motors, and I didn't feel like starting over and tossing otherwise perfectly fine piece of aluminum plate. Champering the holes finishes this part. Time to mount the rails onto the base plate. I'm using lock nuts to prevent any shifting from the motor vibrations. Everyone knows fat fingers don't play well with tiny nuts. I'm using my caliper to get exact equal distance between the guide rails, where they will bind. The set screws inside the rail blocks need to be facing to the top and outside if I ever want to adjust them. These screws set some of the drag and resistance on the rails. Now you can see that I've completely removed all parts from the base no longer needed. Helicopters do not use center springs for the stick like winged aircraft do. The heli pilot moves the stick freely where we are trim and this is the new location it was center up to. Almost a shame not using all these beautiful machine parts, but I will make other parts which are required for this project and hopefully come out just as nice. Next is machining two connection plates for the rail box. I'm using again quarter inch aluminum plate. These will connect the two opposite blocks and will hold the motors and the rod ends. As I'm using Neymar 17 stepper motors, they need to be exact 42 mm wide. The connection plates are drilled with two bolts on each block.
Next are two holes for access to the set screw in the center of the blocks. Some chamfering of the mounting holes will finish this part. Next is mounting the connection plates to the blocks in a quick test. Everything seems to run smooth as butter. Awesome. On the left side you can see the stepper motor with a 12 tooth gear. I also purchased this gear rack. Both are modulus 1. In the next video I will be showing how I installed the stepper motors onto the block connection plates and how I made a base for the gear rack and mounted it to the base plate. Don't forget to check out my discord channel and to visit my website for project downloads. Please keep an eye out for the next part of this project build. Thank you for watching and if you like this project so far, let me know in the comments. And if I earned a like from you, then you know what to do. Crash me twice, out. <laughs>